Hey, what's up, John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question here about machine learning engineer or full stack developer. I'm gonna get into this in a minute, but before I do, I wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor for this YouTube channel or this video, which is hired.com. You can check them out, go to hired.com forward slash Simple programmer, and what you're gonna find when you get there is an application. You fill out that application, you submit all your cool stuff, your GitHub profile, all the cool stuff you've done, and your skills, and make sure you do a good job on that. And then what will happen is if you're a good matchup, and not everyone is, right? It depends on what customers, what companies that hired has the time and where they are geographically and where you are. But if you do get into their system, it's pretty awesome because what will happen is that companies will actually reach out to you and give you offers for interviews and they will include the salaries for the jobs with it. So that is a pretty good situation to be in. It can stop you from wasting a bunch of time sending out all these resumes and going back and forth. I love the idea. That's why I was so excited when, when I talked to Hired about doing a sponsorship because they're doing some pretty cool stuff and I'm, I'm all on board with that. And they're really cool guys too. So, you know, the, the whole company, I did an interview with them and they're just, they're just an awesome company. So go to hire.com for trust simple programmer, make sure that you uh, use that link. You'll get $2,000 if you get a job through them instead of 1000, if you've, if you've come through the simple programmer link. So that's, that's pretty cool. All right. So let's get into this question here. So I'm not actually not going to answer this question. Well, <laughs> I sort of am. So I got this question from Cawthar and he says, I wanted to get your thoughts on these different paths in their future, machine learning, engineering, and full stack developer, how should I choose? So I wanted, you know, I want to answer this question, even though it seems a little bit of a, a pointed, silly question. I'm not actually going to answer between those two things, but what I, I want to answer this question because I think a lot of people are in the same situation where they're trying to choose between these things and they want to know which is better. And and that's not the way to choose your path in life. Okay. <laughs> this is this is this is kind of kind of critical stuff here, right? Like I could tell you, oh, machine learning, that's it. I love machine learning, right? Or I could tell you, oh, no, full stack developer, you'll make a lot more money, it's a lot more fun, full stack developer all the way. I got, I got, I got, I got loads of reasons why full stack developer is what you want to do. But that's my opinion, right? That's, that's not the way to make choices that are going to affect your career and your life. You don't go out and ask people what they think is better. You know, no offense. You know, thanks for asking me the question, but I'm going to, I'm going to decline to answer specifically because I don't know, because it depends on you. And, and I really want, you know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, if you haven't already click that subscribe button, by the way, but one of the things that you'll see me say a lot on this channel is that you really got to not give a fuck what other people say, okay, and what they think and, and their opinions. I even did a video, I'll probably do a, a rehash of this video because I think this is so important, of ignoring feedback. <laughs> Forget feedback, I don't care. I, guess what? You guys don't like this video? I don't care. <laughs> Get lost, it's fine. You know why? You know why that is? Because I'm doing what I want to do. I'm doing this, I'm doing this to help people, but I'm doing it for me because this is what I have to share with the world. And if, and there has to be this matchup, right? It has to be what you wanna do and what's valuable to other people. And, and there is, right? And, and the, how do you know that? Well, because I got 70,000 subscribers on this channel. Wow, okay, you see what I'm saying? At least at the time of recording this video, maybe it'll be 100,000 by the time that you watch this video. But my point is this, I'm doing what I wanna do. People are responding, okay? I'm, I'm seeing a, a response, so that's value. So that's why I'm ignoring feedback, is because I'm, I'm, what I'm choosing, what, I, what lights me up, what I want to produce, right, is actually having results, and maybe there could be better results if I were a hack and did what other people wanted me to do, maybe I could have better results, but I'm getting results that make me happy, okay, and so I'm gonna keep on doing it. So that's, that's the best of both worlds. So why am I saying this? Because it's the same thing here, right? Maybe machine learning is gonna make you more money. Maybe being a full stack developer is gonna make you more money or has a higher potential, but you gotta figure out Screw what other people say, what their opinions are, that's fine. You can get some wise counsel, okay, if, if you want, but don't take that too much to heart, right? Just hear it and let it sink in and get some, some wisdom. But then when you make a decision, you feel in your heart, what, what do you feel is the right thing for you? And fuck what everyone else is saying, and you do that thing. That's, what, that's how you make this choice here, okay? And I, I know this, this seems kind of silly between choosing two technologies, but this is a framework that you use for life is because you've got to set your own course. You're, you will be way more successful, right? I mean, 
I, I can speak from personal experience. Like I said, I've, I've had limited amounts of success until I started doing this, until I started saying, you know what? I'm not gonna cater to what people want. I'm gonna deliver what I want to deliver and, and that has value. And, and that's the thing is, right? So if you, if you choose this path, right? If you, you could choose something that, that doesn't deliver any value to someone, but you love doing. That's fine. Like, I mean, playing World of Warcraft all day, that would be a lot of fun. I, that would be, it, it is a lot of fun. Believe me, it is. I, I went on the, when it first came out in beta, I went on like a 72 hour binge, right? <laughs> but, but it doesn't create value for anyone, right? So you're not gonna get the, you, you see what I'm saying? So, so you, gotta, you gotta look for this. You gotta pick the thing that you wanna do. You gotta figure out how it's going to create value for other people by, by doing what you, what you do, and then you gotta check the results and say, okay, did it actually result in something? Is it, am I happy with that result? Did I make money? Did I get people watching it? Did I actually create value, right? Because the way that you measure whether or not you've created value for people is, you know, how many people subscribe or watch a video or how many people pay you money, right? And so that, that's what you, what you gotta do. So in this, in this case, what do, you, what do you want? Do you want to, do you like machine learning? Is that something that appeals to you? Okay, you're not picking, both of these choices are fine, right? I'm, I'm not gonna say, I mean, if you, if you said like, you know, should I be a ballerina or do machine learning? I, I'm, you know, if you, if you'd like to be a ballerina, that's, Okay, but it, you, if you're looking at like making some money, <laughs> probably not the ballerina choices, you know. But again, again, see, see, there, there, there. I'm going. You could listen to me, and who knows? You could be in like Swan Lake and just just doing your ballerina thing, and, and you could be awesome, and you could be making millions of dollars, you know, going on Broadway in your your own solo performance, just doing your your thing. I don't know. You see what I'm saying? So ultimately, you're gonna have to make this choice because you're gonna have to live with this choice and you're the one who's gonna be doing this work. And you're gonna have a lot more success if you're doing something that you love to do, right? Not that you're gonna love it all the time because hard work sucks. <laughs> it, it will, whatever you're doing, you'll eventually hate. I promise you, if someone pays you to do it, you'll eventually hate it. But you're, you're gonna have to do that day to day. So you gotta make that choice and decide. And if you're, if you're able to put your heart into it because you actually enjoy doing it, you have a much higher chance of success, right? It's really, really hard to become good at something that you hate, that, that, that wasn't your first choice, okay? You know, so think about that. And, and, and really, don't, don't, don't worry about this, this kind of stuff. You, you gotta be, just get, get, develop that ability to like make your choices, to again, taking counsel, taking information in, but to, to know in your heart what you wanna do and make that choice and just be willing to accept the consequences and just be willing, because that's a better way to live your life. Sometimes when you live your life, by the way, this, this way, you're gonna make wrong choices and bad things are gonna happen. But it'll be your choices. You'll be responsible. There's nothing worse, right? I, I'd rather make a bad choice and then take responsibility for it and say, I screwed up, than to listen to someone else's advice. Oh, and that's the wrong choice. Oh, and then you have the, and then you take the failure and you're like, man, why did I listen to that person? Oh, or why didn't I listen to that person? No, instead I, I own every decision I make. So it's always me. And I, I grow and I learn and I feel better that way. It's a better way to live your life, honestly, even though there'll be more ups and downs. All right, thanks for the question. This is, this is John Sonmas signing off of YouTube. I'll talk to you next time. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Take care.